Hello everybody and welcome to Media Collector Madness and I'm Sean and today I have another pickup video so let's begin so firstly yesterday I went to HMV and I picked up the Indiana Jones collection I haven't seen these for a long time and this was £20 HMV on Blu-ray so really happy with that of course the movies are all classics the next up from HMV I picked up Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles and I think I've only ever seen one episode of this one maybe two uh, and this was thirteen ninety nine, so I thought I'd have a try and see. I like the episodes I did see, so I thought I'd have a try and watch the whole thing. That's seasons one and two on DVD. Must have. And then I've done some shopping at. Where is it? There you go. We've got from Music Magpie Expendables 2. This was a fun movie to watch at the time. Uh, I've got the first one on Blu ray now, so I've just got to get the third one. And I believe they're making the Expendables 4, which should be good, hopefully. And apparently, that's supposed to be the last one. We have Killer Elite, and this is a blind buy. I uh, don't know much about this, but it stars Jason Statham, Clive Owen, and Robert De Niro. So the cast is great in it. So hopefully the film's good. So if you've watched this, then let us know what you think of it. And then I found this on Music Magpie, a five disc box, box set, which has 47 Ronin, Oblivion, Battleship, Immortals, and Gladiator. Now the only film I've seen off this box set is Oblivion, which was a couple of weeks ago, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking out the other ones. Um, I've heard good things about 47 Ronin, so I'm going to be watching that one first. It was a very surprising box set to get. And then we have one of my favourite DC TV shows. And that is Shazam. Starring Zachary Levery, who, who's uh, who I'm a fan of on Chuck. Uh, a great film, but lots of fun. Very funny. Uh, yeah, so if you've never seen that one, then you should definitely check that one out. That's probably one of the better ones of the DC Universe. And then... I got Lord of the Rings Trilogy. On Blu-ray. Uh, this was the one film I made sure I watched every year it was released in the cinema. And I watched the third one twice in the cinema, Return of the King. And I love this series. Uh, this set looks really good. As you can see. So, very happy to have that in my collection. I just need to get The Hobbit now on blu-ray then we have rampage which is a fun rock movie based on the old 80s computer game rampage uh very funny in places and i find george the uh 
gorilla, very hilarious at, at times. But yeah, but very good. And then we have the Ultimate Edition Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice. I haven't I've watched the normal edition, so I haven't watched this edition yet. So it'll be interesting to see what's, what the difference is on it. Also contains two discs with two hours of extras. Let's see if back the place. And then we have Spider Man Homecoming. So this was I'm gonna add this to my uh, MCU collection. Uh, which is what I wanna get on I wanna get all of these on Blu-ray now. And uh, I really enjoyed this film. This is another one I see in the cinema. Um, yeah, so if you've never seen it, then check it out. I'm looking forward to the new Spider-Man. It should be coming out either later this year or early next year, hopefully. Uh, in multitude. So, hopefully, it should be as good as this one. And then... And today, these before they fall all over the place, then I went to the okay. So firstly, Avengers Assemble. I really like this one. It was a really good introduction to the rest of the Avengers movies and future Captain America movies with Civil War and stuff. So this was really good. Then I picked up Avengers Infinity War for four pound, which was a really good price. And I watched this just recently on Disney Plus. And then to follow that one up, we have Avengers Endgame, and this one come with a slip cover. Not that I'm big into slip covers, but sometimes they're nice to have. And I'm going to watch this one later on. Um, I prefer Infinity Wars to Endgame, but I do like the final battle scene on this one. Really happy with that. And then we have Unstoppable for £2.50 with Denzel Washington and Chris Pine. And Denzel is one of my favourite actors, so and I've got this on DVD. So I thought upgrade it, only £2.50. So very happy. So, that's what I picked up the last week. Uh, so again, I went to Music Magpie, been to HMV, and I've been to CEX. And uh, yeah, all good fun. And I've got loads and loads to catch up on and to watch. So I may have to take a month off buying stuff to try and uh, catch up a little bit. Uh yeah, so I did a count up on my DVD collection and Blu-ray collection and I now have 2,675 DVDs in the collection, which is awesome. And then for my Blu-rays, I've just brought four more. I have 138 and when I started the channel three months ago, two to three months ago, I started with four and I haven't bought a brand new Blu-ray. So all the Blu-rays I've brought have been under budget. I've only, the most I paid was £18 and that was for the Star Wars box set, 
which is shown in another video. So they've been mostly under £10, a lot of them under £5. Uh, so yeah, I, so it just goes to show you can buy Blu-rays or DVDs on a budget and have a great collection. Um, so I've got some other bits to do today. Um, hopefully I'm going to start expanding the channel and doing reviews and top fives top tens um, and anything else that anybody's got any suggestions for uh, so remember to like comment and subscribe and uh, i love reading the comments uh thanks to kaz and playtendo guy who commented recently on one of my posts uh, yeah, so it's not, I like reading them, I like commenting on them, and I, I like talking movies. So, thanks again to everybody who's watched this video. And hopefully, I'll be back again soon with a review next time. So, thank you very much, and goodbye.